I caught the streetcar this morning about half past four. I gave a man a lever, and he says, this two cents more, you know I need a hundred dollars. You know I need to make a dollar off. Said it cost a living how I'm gone, I, darling, I don't know what to do. I went to the butcher, showcase, I'll give a peek. I got a first and raised man on all of my meat. You know I need to hunt a dollar. You know I need to make a dollar. Said it cost a living how I'm going to Darling, I don't know what to do. Stockyard blues, no kidding. It was right in the time. And um, I got the streetcar. It was early in the morning. The streetcar fare was 11 cents. And it went up, and I'd forgotten. So I gave the man 11 cents. He said, man, it's two cents more. So I gave him the two cents. And then I just kept putting together and kept putting together. And I went to the butcher. He said, I got a raise on my meat. He didn't say four cents, but he said raise. And just kept putting together. So after I started singing on the street, then the same fellow, Big Bill Brooms, he said, man, you better lay away from that number. Somebody going to take it. So I didn't, I didn't sing it no more on the street. On and on and on. And never could get nothing clucking, you know. I mean, I just... Work locally, made a buck, you know, but not what I think I should have made at the time. A little later on, the fellas was catching, you know, they make one fair number and they gone. But I didn't make it. Most of the guys have to, of course, have a, a day job to support their music or else work whatever jobs they can during the week. Uh, music jobs during the week of course in Chicago are few and far between but with the Blue Monday and the uh, Sunday afternoon and evening uh, scene there there are there are jobs a guy can conceivably work Friday and Saturday night Sunday afternoon Sunday evening Monday uh, Blue Monday jobs which don't pay much uh, if uh, a guy is proficient enough he can cop an occasional record date as a sideman which is just about the equivalent of a week's work in, uh, in a club or a weekend's work in a club at scale. But most of the guys have jobs, and of course, being black and being in, not in the uh, upper economic <laughs> class and educational class, uh, naturally these jobs are quite menial and can be very, I think, very demoralizing. The guys uh, are subject to all the pressures of the black community, plus the fact that they're musicians. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's, well, I, it's, you can make it hard for yourself and make it easy for yourself, but it's really a hard life because a whole lot of people don't understand the blues and they, some mock the blues and some really love it, but I play the blues because I like them, really. It dropped out of sight for a while. I don't know what, what happened. But then all of a sudden it came back. Because well, everybody left the blues and went for rock and roll. I mean, if you couldn't <laughs> you couldn't do the thing, you know, you, <laughs> you had nothing going for you. So, uh, but all of a sudden, I don't know what, why, how it got back, but I, it's back now. And I mean, if you don't play the blues now, then you got nothing going for you now. <laughs> I mean, you know, you... <laughs> You gotta be able, honestly, to play a little all of it. A little rock, a little roll, a little blues, a little... And... What would you rather play? Me? Blues. That's right off the bat, blues. I'm a blues man.
black people the blues i don't know I, it's something difficult to explain some white people have soul they have compassion they have warmness but they don't have it's pretty difficult to 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 try to be to explain to you what being black is and I, i'm sure you've heard the story you've never lived until you've been black on saturday night uh there's 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 something about it that uh, no i don't think any white person could ever ever really feel or ever really realize i think it's really impossible for him to to break down the blues like I do it because he don't have the voice to do it with. It's not saying that he haven't had the harder times I had, some of them, maybe, maybe they hadn't. And they love the blues as good as I do, but it just it wasn't for a white man to sing deep blues as me, not yet. I mean, after a while, you know, it'd be another century, then probably be one born. I think probably uh, American white kids have discovered that they lack a culture of their own. They find a shallowness in most of the popular music today, which is happily not not there, not present in the black community. You can't deny the uh, function of the beat, making one happy, and blues have a definite beat. Uh, Blues express, I think, a lot of the emotions that kids are increasingly aware of. And I don't know, I mean, you know, the, one could say rock came from blues and the kids, you know, are coming to blues through rock. Most of the kids have to, they'll first listen to maybe the Grateful Dead, then they'll find out that one of the Grateful Dead performances is an imitation of a Junior Wells record, so they'll go find the Junior Wells record. Yeah, baby. When the train pulled in the station, 